What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here with Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 7,000 subs, guys. But tonight is the night. My brother actually just dropped a giant Ohio buck. And I actually just went home for the day. And I drove six hours all the way back to Michigan. And he called me this afternoon and told me that a big buck was down. So me and my dad packed up the truck. We were actually on the lake fishing. And we ripped it home, took the boat and put it in the garage and packed all our bags. And headed down to Ohio to go help my twin brother pull out one of the biggest bucks that he's ever shot out of the woods. So he shot it around like 4.30 this afternoon with his Matthews bow and he drilled it guys so um, we're gonna go find it in the woods right now and we'll see you guys up there. Yeah. Ready Watch for him. action. Let's do it. It's a bright light. We made it. Yeah it's six hours later. We're on a side of a mountain right now with this big truck. It was a hairy ride up here boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah big time. <laughs> All right let's go find it. He's that way probably. I don't know, what do you think, Hunter? Like 20 or 30 yards only. All right, let's find it. Let's do it. Dad, I'm not going. You got it, Dad. Look at that boot. Maybe that up to there be better. Looks like his boot. Got the best shoes on for this. <laughs> yeah. That's why I grabbed my boots. Well, I learned the last time I worked down here. This area. Yeah. Huh? Right here. Right here. What'd you say? Just up right there where that tree's on. The guts are right there, they haven't been touched. Well, that's good. That's a good sign. Yeah. Now, all the scrubs are up through this. All yeah. down through here like crazy. See that antler? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like the coyotes got to him at all. There's a runway right here. Dang. See that? Yeah. Watch out for the guts. They're all over. I just whipped them over there. Mm. Oh, there's some too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right here. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that is super, <laughs> super wide. Thing's massive. Super wide. Yeah, that's thick. Good luck. What's going on, guys? I'm Hunter Grub, Extremes brother. Well, I just dropped a pretty big 10 point tonight. It was crazy, actually, the story behind it. I didn't know really if I was gonna go out tonight. It was, it's been super hot lately. We had this weird heat wave come through, probably about 60, 70 degrees, and it's been around 40, 50, and the morning sits, I haven't been seeing any, so I didn't really know if I should come out, but. I figured I might as well give it a shot. It's hunting season. You gotta get out in the woods. And I ended up getting out here around 3, 3.30 and I was planning on going out scouting for like 30, 45 minutes to find some scrapes and sit in a new area because I didn't see any the past two days. And I went down this back hillside. I'm hunting this huge hill. It's a crazy hike up here, but I tried 
haunting this back side of this hill I've never been to and I was looking all over the place or scrapes because they're starting to rut and I wasn't really having much luck finding scrapes and I was it was getting late like four o'clock and I was like holy crap I better get find a tree now or this hunt's gonna be wasted you know and I just ended up running into a couple runways that crisscrossed and I was like that's always a golden spot to sit there so I also there's a couple big buck rubs right there and I was like well that's a pretty good sign too so I found the closest tree to the runways and gave her a shot and I ended up getting all set up in the tree around four o'clock and I texted Dylan and my dad and was saying I don't really think I'm in that good of a spot guys I just wanted to get in the tree and as soon as that happened frickin I hear some branches cracking from the thicket and I can see some vines up in the trees wiggling around and I was like that's gotta be a buck like getting his horns stuck and stuff and soon enough I see this big 10 point come walking through and he's about 75 yards away and I see him coming down the runway right where I sat and I was like holy crap what's the chances of that a new spot and I didn't even think it was good and here comes this wide 10 point we actually have had him on trail camera for like a week or two around this area I'm hunting like 20 30 acres only and there's some monsters out here 10 to 14 points but this sucker came through and i figure i better drop him who knows if i'll see another big one after the rut ends you know what i mean but he came through like 15 20 yards and he was coming through this thicket so I pulled back my bow and was holding my bow back before he came through this opening and I just let the arrow fly I didn't want to take any chances of grunting at him and he spooked so I just shot him on the move he just was walking so I'm a pretty good shot I drilled him it was sweet and my dad and Dylan came down from Michigan to come help me pull him out so that's sweet oh, yeah. he ran probably like 75 100 yards and I heard him crash so I called them right away and told them the crazy story it might be my biggest buck I don't know close to it my other 11 point was a big one but this one's super wide so yeah it is super beautiful buck on her yeah, yeah, it's sweet too. yeah he's the really body thick. super big yeah, yeah. really big body he probably goes 200 yeah that's a big one so that's pretty sweet we're that gonna super sweet <laughs> yeah <laughs> There's some monsters on our trail camera. Some super tall rocks and another wide one. I don't know, it might be wider than this. But I couldn't let this one pass. I don't know if I'd see another big one. So. Yeah, it's sweet. That's a super thick rock. Yeah. yeah. This is actually the one I saw like two or three days ago. Yeah, it's crazy. Dylan could have shot this one. Yeah, and he's I spooked, end up though. seeing it. Yeah, it I, was meant to be. Yeah, I, where Dylan was sitting, I'm probably like 200 yards away, so this buck must have 
Been on the move, checking all its scrapes. I wonder if there's a scrape back there. He just came from the thicket bedding. But we'll have to check that out. We're gonna go scout more tomorrow and find some spots for Dylan and my dad. Awesome book, Hunter. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Awesome shot, too. Yeah. yeah. That's sweet, Hunter. I'm super excited for you. Yeah, Huge buck. You're gonna have to get it mounted. Yeah. Maybe we'll start a GoFund you. Seriously. <laughs> GoFund me to. I need Mount some honors. help right now, dang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, beautiful buck. Congrats to my twin brother. Now we gotta get this huge buck down into his huge truck. All right. Over, Over and out. out. <laughs> Big buck killer. Oh, I was gonna show you those buck rubs, but maybe just tomorrow. 